Hi, I'm Joyce Feustel, Boomer Social Media Tutor. The question we're going to address today is, should I send a message to the people I connect with on LinkedIn? And the answer is absolutely yes. Let's get into it. When I connect with someone, I like to write them a note right away. So I'll click on accept, like say here with Kelby. But actually to really show how this works, I'm gonna show you a, a person I recently connected with his name is Chet Ballinger, and here he is. And where you send this message is right over here at message. See, very simple. And this is where I like to have a template that I use. So let me show you how that worked with Chet. So how this happened is Chet sent me an invite, but I didn't really know who this guy was. So we're gonna start from the beginning of the communication. Well, actually first with his response to my question, how did it happen you reached out to me? So there is, his response, I'm working on my social media skills. I found your recent video very helpful. Yay, I knew videos were paying off. So then I write back in first just a really short, hey, thanks for the invite connect. I'm honored that my video was helpful to you. And if this is the point I decide this guy seems real, I'm going to accept him. So there it says, Chad Ballinger is now a connection. But now I want to send him my actual template that I will adjust just a little bit. So here we are in the template. And of course, this invite came from him. So I'll start out with thanks again for your invite to connect. If I had sent it, I, of course, would say thanks for accepting my invite. And then I would also say if I'd met him in person, maybe something like you may have heard some of this information when I spoke at that networking connection. You might recall it. But I still thought you might like to see the message I send out to all my new LinkedIn connections. Now watch carefully. Think what you could offer as a freebie a free discovery session, whatever applies to you. In my case, it would be a free 10-minute virtual session on LinkedIn. That's, after all, where we met. So there you go. That's the first thing I do, something nice for them. Now what I do is just a snapshot, just a quick description of my services, that I have tutoring sessions, I do group training, here's some of the types of groups that I've worked with. And then I also point out that along with doing this work on LinkedIn, I also tutor and train on other social sites, specifically Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. So now I've done a very quick review of my services. At this point, I do one more thing. I want to make it easy for Chet to reach out to me. I give him my phone number, my email address, and my website. Because even though these things are available on my profile under contact and personal information, a person might not necessarily know where to find them. And I wrap it up with something friendly. I'm looking forward to seeing your updates on LinkedIn. So that's all it takes. And it is just in a matter of minutes that you can do this. And then this actually led to a whole nother um, engagement that I've got going with Chet. He's going to help me out with a project I'm doing. So just to recap, when you've got these invites, after you accept them, then you go over to their uh listing in your recently added, they're going to be right at the top, you go to message. That's what you do. You take that template message adapted to that particular person and it'll really pay off. It sure did with chat. Now you see how simple it is to send those messages to your new LinkedIn connections. Message me in the comments below with any other question you would like to see me address.